and welcome back to Jenna Gets Creative. My sister's here. Hi. Hi. This is Jess. Hi, I'm Jess. <laughs> and today we are going to draw for each other and color each other's work. Yeah. So let's get to it. Yeah. Let's see what we do. <laughs> Okay, so first up we have me, Jenna, drawing, and my sister, Jess, coloring. We decide that we would both do a Zelda-themed piece, and we're going to draw and swap. So I am drawing a trio of Koroks, because my sister was playing Zelda Breath of the Wild while she was here, and she had just commented earlier the day that we filmed this that the Koroks were so cute and she loved them so much. So I decided to draw some Koroks for her, and here they are. So uh, I found it really interesting as I've been editing this footage now that they've gone home and I'm trying to get this video out. Just uh, interesting that every clip that was me drawing or coloring versus every clip that was my sister drawing or coloring. Hers, I had to speed up, do double speed in my preliminary processing on the phone exactly one more time than mine, which means she took exactly twice as much time as I did in real time. Uh, that's not to say anything bad about her skills or anything. She is an amazing artist. I find it interesting because that means about a year ago when I started taking alcohol markers seriously, I was probably working at her speed and I have doubled my speed in the last year. Just thought that was really interesting. But here we go, this is my sister coloring it now. As you can see, she asked for green markers and I threw all my green markers at her. You're gonna see that again when I throw all the brown markers at her. <laughs> And she used a variety of different brands and then has been texting me now that she's home asking what this brand was, what that brand was, and then we're getting confused at each other because there's multiple brands that were black barrels. <laughs> yeah, and the fact that our mom was calling fine liners markers, so then black marker it could be even more things. It's been entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, Jess, if you're listening, I know you're listening, I was trying to color your piece while you were texting me these questions. <laughs> so, thanks. <laughs> and yes, for everybody else, uh, for the sake of saving time while we were together, I did put off my coloring until after they had left. And... I ended up actually going over and doing the cleaning up of the line art on this one after they had left too. She asked me to, don't worry. <laughs> I think she did a great job for her first time doing a full piece in alcohol markers. And I was really impressed with how many different shades and designs she put into the Koroks, as the Koroks are actually designed that way. Just like heck, if I was doing this for the very first time, if these had been my first alcohol marker drawing, I probably wouldn't have been this true to the Koroks design from the game. I just, I found that really interesting, and Jess, I applaud you. <laughs> you did good. <laughs> you made them look very cute. Um
So here we are, Jess is drawing now. If you can see a bit of line work already on the page, that is the sketch. We did do our sketches on different paper and then traced over to the marker paper. She traced over using my Cole Erase non-copy blue. It shouldn't have picked up on the camera, it didn't on mine. Yes, I was going over a trace of my original sketch. I'm not that good. <laughs> but uh, she pressed a little harder and as I discovered much later when I was coloring it, she was actually working on the wrong side of the marker paper. Not her fault. We tore the sheet out of the pad way too soon and it... I don't even know who turned it over. One of us turned it over long before she got to this point while she was still working in my Canson Mixed Media sketchbook. Not her fault, don't worry. <laughs> and yes, we both worked on top of another sheet of paper. That's just because marker paper is very thin and it would be distracting to see the uh, grid from the mat underneath it, through it. Nothing special there, no secrets being hidden. <laughs> so Jess drew Zelda and Link for me. And she asked me to help her find a nice Zelda-inspired quote. So the quote on this is, Can I ask you a question? What makes you happy? We both thought that was kind of cute, so she put that in. And of course, the Triforce and Navi. And here I go, coloring it. I didn't notice until partway through coloring it that we were on the wrong side of the marker paper. But if you notice the liner smudging a lot, that is why, and I had a lot of cleaning up to do on the nib of this poor pale colored marker. <laughs> but that's okay. I made it work. <laughs> now, since Jess had been playing Breath of the Wild, and since the artwork style she was copying definitely reminded me of Breath of the Wild. I chose to color the two as if they were Breath of the Wild specific, but I don't actually recognize the dress she put on Zelda as Breath of the Wild or any of the other Zelda games that I've played off the top of my head. So I just went ahead and colored it anyway. <laughs> colored it Breath of the Wild style. So Jess, I'm very sorry if you were meaning for this to be a completely different outfit that does have particular colors. And audience members, if you are a bigger Zelda nerd than me and you know what she was going for and I got it wrong, again, I am so sorry. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> yeah. I think that this piece was really cute. I did enjoy coloring it even though I was getting interrupted a lot by my sister asking questions about the art supplies she now wants to buy. <laughs> You're cute, Jess. And I hope you have a lot of fun with these supplies. <laughs> if you're new here, by the way, please do subscribe and ring the bell for notifications. I upload every Tuesday and Thursday. Sometimes I have bonuses. I will have a bonus on Monday the 15th for sure because that's YTAC upload day. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit like and leave a comment down below. I do appreciate it. I love reading your comments and I do my best to reply as soon as possible to everybody's comment. Unless you stump me. Because, you know, talking about tacos, I, I don't know. 
<laughs> There's nothing going on here to do with tacos. Don't talk about tacos. Well, talk about tacos, but I, I don't know if I'll have a response for you. Because, why? <laughs> and I wanted to say something else here. But I forgot. So I guess we're going to listen to music again. Because my daughter's still interrupting us. Oh, um... I know that uh, Breath of the Wild was done in what's now called the Color Bloom style, where all of the pigments chosen are very, very vibrant and kind of hyper-realistic, more vibrant than realistic, and the hair on both the characters should have been a little more orange, but the markers I had that would have made the hair more orange would have made it a lot more orange, so I decided to err on the side of more natural blonde. I hope that's okay with everybody. I do think I got their outfits uh, more correct in terms of the shades that they should be, the hues, tones, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> and uh, I went in and uh, filled in whites after coloring with a Sakura Jelly Roll 10, that's their bold. I pulled out all of my different white gel pens, but then just only used that one. <laughs> Whatever works, right? <laughs> yeah, okay, this time, for real, I'm gonna let the music play. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a comment down below, did you like this uh, collaboration with my sister? You will be seeing her on YouTube in the near future. She is making a channel, not an art channel, but a channel, and we will definitely be doing more collabs in the future. We've already filmed a bunch of intros to do collabs on this channel, and we'll probably do collabs on her channel as well. And, you know, between them, like any other two-channel collab. <laughs> so yeah, look out for that. It's gonna be fun. And thanks for watching. I'll see you in the end card.
made it to the end of the video. Don't forget to hit like, leave a comment, and if you haven't already, hit subscribe and ring that bell. I upload every Tuesday and Thursday, and I feature artists and crafters in my end card. Use the hashtag LookJennaYT. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys!